the game's famous boy Clifford Shockley. Today I'm coming to you guys with the full after action of the 100 push-ups every day for 30 days challenge. Does it work? And uh, I have a couple questions from a lot of people that they sent me. And uh, if I don't cover your question, you can comment down below and I'll see if I can answer it for you. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first question was, what is the hardest part of the challenge? I think the hardest part of the challenge was being able to upload every single video every single day, edit and upload every single video every day. The 100 push-ups themselves, the hardest part was recording them because to do 100 push-ups is not hard for me, but to consistently do it for 30 days, to stay, to make that new habit, stick with it for 30 days, that was probably the hardest part and all it uploaded into YouTube every single day. Um, any tips for someone who is new to working out? So when you're first starting out, you're gonna be sore Definitely gonna let you know that. But it's all about the intensity that you're doing it at. As you can see, I am, I've been working out as a calisthenics athlete practitioner for a long time now. So for me, muscle soreness, muscle recovery, I'm used to it. So for me, I can I can go higher intensity and try to do my 100 pushups done in four minutes and everything like that. But for someone who's just starting out, I recommend the uh, 10 pushups every minute for 10 minutes straight, or even five pushups for 20 minutes straight or just do them throughout the day because uh, the soreness might make you not want to continue to do the challenge. So it might make you give up. So I'll recommend the intensity being lower for yourself. You still can do it if you're a new person, even if you need to do it on your knees. So what kept me motivated to finish? Obviously, I could not let the CG fam down. And also me seeing the gains that I was making, the consistent gains, my push and strength was getting incre incredibly uh, stronger to myself. Um, <clears throat> push ups just became easier. It felt like I was breathing, it felt like nothing to me anymore. And just seeing the aesthetics of my chest uh, becoming uh, more sculpted and toned and defined uh, made me want to keep going. So that's what helped push me on. And I, obviously, the biggest thing though was not letting the CG fam down. I knew I could, I had to stay consistent. That's what we do on this channel. So I couldn't give up on you guys. When did the challenge start to get easier? I say around week, maybe like week, uh, one and a half, two weeks, it started getting very easy, to be honest. And uh, what the biggest thing for me, what the biggest hurdle for me for me was, was the mental, the mental hurdle as, a, as in like, I was so focused on form that I couldn't accomplish the goals that I wanted to accomplish. And then I realized that a proper push-up wasn't what I was doing in the beginning. Full range of motion of a push-up is bending your arm to a 90 degree angle and extending all the way back up and coming back down to 90 degrees. A lot of people think that you gotta touch your chest to the ground, but that's impossible when you're going for endurance reps. You're trying to get a certain amount of reps in under a certain amount of time. And that's what helped me reach my goals. And doing it consistently all these days helped me to build the strength and just become to the point where it was nothing to me at all. Does it work? That's what everybody's here for. So, yes it does. It will help you get in shape. It will help you get a a baseline of, of basic strength to carry over to other calisthenics moves. And it also will show you that you can stay consistent with something for 30 days. That's the biggest takeaway from this challenge is being able to stay consistent and proving to yourself that you're not gonna give up on yourself. That's the biggest takeaway for this challenge. And it definitely does work because when you're doing it, you're pretty much working out your core, you're working out your glutes, you're obviously working out your chest, your delts, your triceps. And if you do that continuously, every single day for 30 days, you're gonna get results regardless. Obviously, if you're, if you're trying to reach your goal, you're gonna put out your effort. You're gonna put effort into it. So that will help you achieve the goals that you're trying to get, the aesthetics, strength, whatever it is. And obviously you will change up your training to fit your goals. So obviously you might not do them the same way I did mine in this video, but you will do them whatever type of training you're trying to do to get to your goal. So yes, it does work. I feel like almost doing anything for 30 days straight, you will get results depending on what your goals are. And uh, I recommend everyone to do this. Another question, last one, bonus question is, will I continue to do 100 push-ups every day? Yes, because it's so easy to me now. Knock it out, either when I get up or before I go to sleep. 100 push-ups is nothing now. There's, just no, there's no reason why you can't do 100 push-ups. 
And before I close out the video, I'll let you guys know the new challenge is coming for the month of December. It's dropping today. It's going to be 100 squats every day for 30 days. Does it work? But that's it for the full review video. Thank you guys for tuning in again. But you guys are staying consistent, making those consistent gains of fitness in life. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like, and all that good stuff too. Peace.